Welcome friends to a new session on genetics. In this session, we will discuss interference, coincidence and linkage maps. Introduction to linkage mapping. Chromosome map can be constructed only with the help of crossing over percentage. The percentage crossing over of recombinant gametes relating to normal gametes depends upon the crossing over rate that in its turn depends upon how far distant the given alleles are in the chromosome. These percentages can then be used to determine the distance between the alleles. The percentage of crossing over is directly proportional to the distance of the alleles showing crossing over in the chromosome. The crossing over percentage is highly modified by the interference and coincidence. First, let us look into the aspect of interference. Normally, the double crossing over percentage is very low because the crossing over and chiasma formation in the homologous non-sister chromatids interferes with the crossing over and chiasma formation at other points nearby. This is called as interference. This was discovered by Georg Elias Muller, who was a German experimental psychologist credited with the theory of retroactive interference in 1911. The interference is inversely proportional to the crossing over percentage. The interference is maximum over a short distance and decreases as the distances increases. Interference is quantified by first calculating a term called the coefficient of coincidence, which is the ratio of observed to expected double recombinants subtracted from 1. Hence, the degree of interference is defined as interference is equal to 1 minus coefficient of coincidence. Coefficient of coincidence is equal to 1 minus observed frequency or number of double recombinants divided by expected frequency or number of double recombinants. If the three genes have an order A, B, C and the recombination values A, B and B, C are independent of each other, then one should be able to predict the double crossover value between A and C as a product of individual values A, B and B, C. For instance, if AB is equal to 10 percentage and BC is equal to 20 percentage, the double crossovers in AC region would be 10 percentage of 20 percentage, that is 2 percentage. However, in practice, the value of double crossovers is always less than the expected value. This is explained by the phenomenon of interference, which means that Crossing in one region interferes with the crossing over in the adjacent regions. The degree of interference may vary in different regions. If double crossovers are absent altogether, we would say that interference is 100 percent, while if it equals the expected value, we would say that there is no interference. Contrary to the common occurrence of positive interference in flowering plants, in bacteriophages, that is lambda phage, and the fungus aspergillus, negative interference was observed. It means that recombination in a particular region enhances rather than decreasing recombination in the adjoining regions. This is partly due to a different method of reproduction in these organisms. It is postulated that in these organisms, effective pairing sites with high recombination frequencies exist. The Drosophila females were crossed with males. This led to 1000 offsprings with the following phenotypes. 
capital ABC 244 that is the parental pheno genotype there is no recombination capital A capital B and small c there are 81 offsprings the recombinant is between B and C capital A small b and capital C is 23 offsprings is double recombinant capital A small b c is 152 offsprings the recombinant is between capital A and B small a capital B capital C is 148 offsprings the recombinant is between capital A and capital B small a capital B small c there are 27 offsprings is a double recombinant small a small b capital C is 89 offsprings and the recombinant is between capital B and C and the last category small a small b small c there are 236 offsprings there are parental genotype there is no recombination at all from these numbers it is clear that the capital B small b locus lies between the capital A small a locus and the capital C small c locus there are total 350 progeny showing recombination between genes capital A and capital B and there are 220 progeny showing recombination between genes capital B and capital C. Thus, the expected ratio of double recombination is 77 by 1000 is equal to 0 0.077. However, there are actually only 50 double recombinants. The coefficient of coincidence is therefore 50 divided by 77 is equal to 0 0.65 and the interference is 1 minus 0 0.65 is equal to 0 0.35. Another term coincidence is used to express the same phenomenon. Now, let us see about coincidence. The coefficient of coincidence was designed by Hermann Joseph Muller in 1916. He is a Nobel laureate for his work on the physiological and genetic effects of radiation. He estimated interference on the basis of dividing the number of double crossovers observed by the number of double crossovers expected by the probability of single crossover frequencies. The coincidence is an inverse measure of interference. If double crossovers equal to the expected value, there is 100 percent coincidence, while if double crossovers are found, coincidence is 0. Coincidence is measured as a ratio between actual number of double crossovers and the expected number of double crossovers. The coefficient of coincidence can be calculated as follows. Coefficient of coincidence is equal to percentage of actual number of double crossovers divided by percentage of expected number of double crossovers. If actual number of double crossovers is 0, then coincidence is 0 and interference is complete. If actual number of double crossovers is the same as the expected number, coincidence is said to be 1 and interference is nil it ranges from 0 to 1. In the example referred to the above, expected double crossovers are 0 0.1 into 0 0.2 is equal to 0 0.02 that is 2 percentage. If the observed value is 1 percentage, coefficient of coincidences will be 0 0.5 or 50 percentage coincidence. Lesser will be the interference and vice versa. Now, let us see in detail about linkage maps. The linkage of the genes in a chromosome can be represented in the form of a genetic map which shows the linear order of the genes along the chromosome with the distance between adjacent genes 
proportional to the frequency of recombination between them. A linkage map is also called a genetic map or a chromosome map. It is a genetic map of a species or experimental population that shows the position of its known genes or genetic markers relative to each other in terms of recombination frequency rather than a specific physical distance along each chromosome. Linkage mapping is important for identifying the location of genes that cause genetic diseases. The genetic map is based on the frequencies of recombination between markers during crossover of homologous chromosomes. The greater the frequency of recombination between two genetic markers, the further apart they are assumed to be. Conversely, the lower the frequency of recombination between the markers, the smaller the physical distance between them. Historically, the markers originally used were detectable phenotypes like enzyme production, eye color, which was derived from coding DNA sequences. Eventually, confirmed or assumed non-coding DNA sequences such as microsatellites or those generating restriction fragment length polymorphisms, in short we call RFLPs, have been used. The genetic mapping of linked genes is an important research tool in genetics because it enables a new gene to be assigned to a chromosome and often to a precise position relative to other genes within the same chromosome. Genetic mapping is usually a first step in the identification and isolation of a new gene and the determination of its DNA sequence. Genetic mapping is essential in human genetics for the identification of genes associated with the hereditary diseases such as the genes whose presence predisposes women carriers to the development of breast cancer. Genetic linkage was first discovered by the British genetist William Bateson. He was the first person to use the term genetics to describe the study of heredity and biological inheritance and the chief popularizer of the ideas of Gregor Bendel following their discovery in 1900 by Hugo de Vries and Karl Korenz. Together with him, Edith Rebecca Saunders, she had an active role in the rediscovery of Mendel's laws of heredity. And also there is Reginald Krundel Punnett, who is the creator of the Punnett Square. All together rediscovered the Mendel's laws. The understanding of genetic linkage was expanded by the work of Thomas Hunt Morgan who was a Nobel Prize winner in physiology medicine in 1933 for discoveries elucidating the role that the chromosomes plays in heredity. By working out the number of recombinants, it is possible to obtain a measure for the distance between the genes. The distance is expressed in terms of a genetic map unit, MU, or a Sandy Morgan and is defined as the distance between genes for which one product of meiosis in 100 is recombinant. A recombinant frequency of 1% is equivalent to 1 MU. Morgan's observation that the amount of crossing over between linked genes differs and led to the idea that crossover frequency might indicate the distance of separating genes on the chromosome. While working on Morgan's laboratory, Alfred Henry Struttwand, who constructed the first genetic map of a chromosome, made two important observations. One, the crossover combinations always occurred with uh, predictable frequencies. And two, the percentage of crossing over frequencies between two genes was different from the percentage of crossing over for two different genes on the same chromosome. He reasoned that these differences had to do with the physical distance between genes. 
As a result of his observations, he reached three conclusions. One, genes are arranged in a linear sequence on a chromosome like pearls on a string. Two, the percentage of crossing over between two genes has to do with the distance between them. In other words, the closer together the genes are, the less frequently the genes cross over. The farther apart the genes are, the greater the frequency of their crossing over. Three, by using frequency of their crossing over, one can map the relative positions of genes along a chromosome. In other words, the frequency of crossing over is usually directly related to the relative distance between genes on a chromosome. In 1913, while still an undergraduate student, Strutman constructed chromosome maps for Drosophila that indicated the relative position of gene loci along with the length of chromosomes. Drosophila is the earliest material used by the scientists for constructing maps. The first successful gene mapping work is shown in the following figure. And it provides important evidence for the chromosome theory of inheritance. The map shows the relative positions of allelic characteristics on the second chromosome of Drosophila. The distance between the genes is equal to the percentage of crossing over events that occurs between different alleles. Drosophila melanogaster, which is also known by the common name fruit fly, is an ideal organism to use for genetic studies. Drosophila proliferates rapidly. They are small, are cheap to maintain, and their phenotypes are easily observable. An experiment was performed in order to determine the presence and degree of gene linkage in Drosophila melanogaster. Gene linkage describes whether or not two or more genes are located on the same chromosome in a eukaryotic individual. The degree of gene linkage can describe the relative distance between two linked genes on a single chromosome. Linkage maps have been prepared in large number of animals and plants with the help of recombination frequencies as discussed above in interference and coincidence. Since recombination frequencies are directly proportional to distance between genes in question, these values can be used in preparation of linkage maps. The probability of crossing over between any two genes serves as a measure of genetic distance between the genes and makes possible the construction of linkage map, a diagram of chromosome showing the relative position of the genes. By testing different groups of genes having at least one gene in common, additional genes can be added in a linkage map. It is important to notice that recombination frequencies and map distance do not correspond because over longer distances, although the map distance will exceed even 100, but recombination frequency between any two genes will never exceed 50 as earlier discussed since double and multiple crossovers will not be discovered. Linkage maps of four different chromosomes of Drosophila are shown in the following figure. The chromosome map of Drosophila includes four linkage groups corresponding to four chromosome pairs. The genes present in the X chromosome constitute the first linkage group. Those present in the second and third chromosome constitute second and third linkage groups. And those on the fourth chromosome form fourth linkage group. The fourth linkage group is the smallest of all. X chromosome has 66 crossover units with the genes yellow and bobbed will be 66 units. In fact, we know that recombination frequency will never exceed 50% between any two loci. These 66 units will be actually obtained by making use of a mapping function. A relationship between two variables which enables estimation of the value of one from the value of other is called a function. With this definition of function, the relationship between real map distance and recombination frequency is called the mapping function. It is thus evident that we should not confuse map distances with the recombination frequencies. Now let us look into the procedure for the chromosome mapping. Now let us look into the procedure for the chromosome mapping. In fact, genes are plotted on the chromosome. 
on the basis of crossing over results between two different pairs of linked genes. The actual distance between two genes is said to be equivalent to the percentage of crossing over between these genes. When the percentage of crossing over between two genes is 5, then the distance is 5 units. For example, 5 genes A, B, C, D and E are to be plotted on a chromosome. If crossover results indicate that the genes A and E have the highest percentage of crossing over, it means that these genes should be placed at the maximum distance. In this example, the gene A can be taken as a starting point in the chromosome, can be represented by 0. Now, if the gene A and B exhibit 7 percentage crossing over, the gene B can be placed on the chromosome at a distance of 7 units. If the gene C shows 8 percentage crossing over, the gene B and about 15 percentage crossing over with the gene A, it can be placed on the chromosome at a distance of 15 units from gene A. Similarly, if gene A and E exhibit 20 percentage and 30 percentage crossing over with the gene D and 5 percentage and 10 percentage with the gene C, these are located on a chromosome 5 and 10 units away from the gene C respectively. Now, let us examine the construction of chromosome map in Drosophila. The crossing over studies on the genes for black body and vestigial wings in Drosophila show about 17 percentage crossing over. The percentage of crossing over indi indicates the relative distance between the linked genes. Thus, the genes for black and vestigial are 17 units apart on the chromosome. Before accepting this as a final figure for a chromosome map, other crosses are made with another gene. Let us introduce a recessive gene CN, which is responsible for cinnabar I recessive to the dominant bright red eye color. When a black cinnabar fly is crossed with a gray red fly, the test cross of spring shows 9 percentage crossing over between these two pairs of genes. When cinnabar vestigial is crossed with a red long, the test cross of spring shows 9.5 percentage crossing over. From these results, it is concluded that the gene cinnabar lies about halfway between the genes for black body color and vestigial wings. The total amount of crossing over between black body and vestigial wings is 18.5 percentage rather than 17 percentage expected on the basis of first cross. The discrepancy of 1.5 that is 18.5 minus 17 which was noted arises because of the occurrence of double crossing over that is of two crossovers occurring simultaneously in the same cell between two loci. As a final check on these results, it would be well to make a trihybrid or three point test cross using all three pairs of genes at once. When pure recessive flies are crossed with the normal flies are phenotypically normal. When the F1 females are back crossed to triple recessive males, eight phenotypes are obtained. From the data obtained, the relative position of the genes can be calculated. The distance between G and CN is 9 units. The distance between CN and L is 9.5 units. The L gene could be to the right of CN locus or to the left. If the first order CN L is correct, then the distance between G and L is 17 units. This small discrepancy is due to double crossing over. Now, let us summarize the foregoing discussion of interference and coincidence as well as linkage map. The linkage of the genes in a chromosome can be represented in the form of a genetic map which shows the linear order of the genes along the chromosome with the distance between adjacent genes proportional to the frequency of recombination between them. A linkage map is also called a genetic map or a chromosome map. Chromosome map can be constructed only with the help of crossing over percentage. The crossing over percentage is highly modified by the interference and coincidence. The interference is inversely proportional to the crossing over percentage. The interference is maximum 
over a short distance and decreases as the distances increases. The degree of interference may vary in different regions. The coincidence is an inverse measure of interference. The amount of recombination provides a measure of the distance between the loci. One map unit is equal to one percentage recombinant gametes. Map units can be determined by test crossing a dihybrid and recording the percentage of recombinant offspring. A coefficient of coincidence, the ratio of observed to expected double crossovers can be calculated to determine if one crossover changes the probability that a second one will occur nearby. A mapping function can be used to translate observed map distances into more accurate ones. Now let me give you some assignments based on today's discussion. First, describe the gene order, map distances and coefficient of coincidence in fruit flies. Two, what do you understand by recombination? And also discuss various views available to explain the mechanism of recombination. Three, describe linkage groups. Four, give brief account of procedure used in preparing a chromosome map with the help of three-point test cross. And five, write short notes on interference and coincidence. I will also give you some references for your additional reading. First one, a book entitled Biology, authored by Eldra Charles, Diana and Linda, it is the 10th edition. A second book is again entitled Biology, 8th edition, authored by Eldra, Diana and Linda. A third reference is a book entitled An Introduction to Genetic Analysis, 7th edition, authored by Griffiths, Miller, Suzuki, Levantin and uh, Gelbert. It is uh, published uh, from uh, New York. A fourth reference is uh, entitled uh, Chromosomes and uh, Heredity. Uh, it is published in uh, American Naturalist. The author is Morgan and it is published in the year 1910. The volume of the publication is 44, pages 449 to 496. A fifth reference is a book entitled Principles of Genetics, published by John Willey, New York. It is authored by Gardner and Nastart in the year 1984. I will also give you some websites for your references. One is www.genetics.org, www.theagricos.com. Thank you for watching this session. See you in the next section with a new topic. Until then, bye.